All right, everybody. So welcome back to this series. Y'all are liking it quite a bit. Where would Tesla be five years from now? How could I do it without starting in my car using FSD, which is the topic of discussion, the third business unit that I will be presenting to you today in this video. Let's go. So I want to dive in and discuss the potential for FSD as one of Tesla's business units that will bring in the types of profits that we will see in SaaS companies and a couple of different analysts, what their potential profits will be in the near term and in the future, and give you some ideas as to, again, why this is not just a car company. Now, Tesla owners can buy it right now for $99 a month or a one-time subscription fee of $8,000 on the car. But here's where it gets interesting. The next phase of FSD is really going to be like licensing it out to other automakers. As of June 2025, Tesla full self-driving system has collectively, again, I've said this in previous videos when it comes to RoboTaxi, but it's logged 4.5 billion miles driven in real world conditions. And it's, it's just getting more and more miles, especially as RoboTaxi launches and scales to other cities. Now, on top of that, Tesla's Q2 2025 vehicle safety report showed that vehicles using autopilot and FSD experienced one crash every six point. 0.69 million miles compared to the U.S. national average of one every 702,000 miles. Now, again, with this kind of experience under its belt, large automakers most likely are going to prefer licensing Tesla software rather than building their own. Tesla is the dog, right? Is the, the first to market. It's going to have the best safety reports. AI is learning with it. Now, why would Ford or Hyundai want Tesla's software instead of building their own, Tesla has the lead. No other company has collected more real-world driving data on its autonomy. Now, they've been at this for over a decade, improving over every air update month after month. Most automakers are years behind, and it, they would burn billions trying to catch up. So licensing from Tesla will be faster, will be cheaper, and will be smarter for them. Just like how Android became the go-to operating system for smartphones, maybe not all over the U.S., but globally, Tesla's FSD could become the autonomy layer for the auto industry. Now, automakers are going to face pressure to offer this advanced driver assistant systems to stay competitive in the e like this EV autonomy race that's picking up. And even the GOAT himself, Elon Musk, has confirmed significant interest from OEMs. Now, what is an OEM? An original equipment manufacturer, because I like to define things on this channel. Oftentimes, people talk like we know what these abbreviations are mean, but it's really the original company that produces the parts or products that are used in final assembly of a finished vehicle or product sold by another company. So in the context of the automotive industry, an OEM are the automakers themselves, like the Hondas, the GMs, or the Toyotas, who manufacture vehicles and integrate the components like the engines, the electronics, software into their final product. For Tesla's FSD licensing, OEMs would be these legacy automakers potentially paying Tesla to use its full self-driving software in their vehicles rather than developing their own autonomous driving tech on because they're not they're not a software company. A lot of these OEMs don't have what Tesla has. Now, before I get into what analysts are saying, I need to qualify the next portion of the video. Revenue projections are just that, projections. When we talk about Tesla's FSD licensing potential, we're looking at estimates based on today's data, analyst models, and market trends. But these numbers are changing very rapidly, sometimes every two weeks with regards to Tesla. New deals are popping up on X. I feel like I see a Twitter or an X new deal on Tesla literally like every time I open the app. Plus, it's just a dynamic company, right? And we are in explosive growth mode, so it can be a, a roller coaster. So take these as a snapshot of a potential, not necessarily a guarantee. Let's see what the experts say about this opportunity. The most recent data on Tesla's full self-driving revenue comes from Q3 of 2024, as reported in Tesla's earnings and related sources. Specifically, Tesla disclosed that FSD contributed $326 million to the company's Q through 2024 revenue. Now, this figure reflects revenue from FSD subscriptions, again, that $99 a month or that one-time purchase of $8,000 in the U.S. as of 2024. Now, Dan Ives, Tesla Bull, forecasts that Tesla's market cap could surge in profit with just one major deal from an OEM. He views the golden age of autonomy as a transformative period for Tesla, where it's AI 
AI-driven FSD technology becomes a high-margin reoccurring revenue stream through licensing deals with manufacturers, like I mentioned before, Ford, Honda, GM, Mercedes, who knows what's going to happen. But FSD, as of June 2025, positions it to dominate in this market, now compelling competitors to license its software rather than spend billions developing inferior alternatives. This is from Dan Ives himself. He estimates that Tesla's autonomous technology, including FSD licensing, could be worth $1 trillion to the company's valuation alone over the next few years. While specific revenue figures for licensing vary, he suggests that even capturing a fraction of the global auto market, which is around 80 to 90 million vehicles annually, it could generate a multi-billion dollar reoccurring revenue stream. For example, licensing FSD to 10% of the market, let's say 8 to 9 million vehicles at 50 to $100 a month after a 50-50 split with whatever OEM decides to sign the deal could yield 4.8 to 9.6 billion annually with margins approaching 80 to 90% due to lower incremental costs. In May of 2025, Ives raised Tesla's price target from 350 to 500, citing that the RoboTaxi launch and FSD licensing could be key drivers in the massive generation of revenue, suggesting that a single major licensing deal could act as a catalyst to unlock this valuation. He reiterated this in July of 2025 on a CNBC appearance, stating that Tesla is the most undervalued AI name in the market and that licensing could surprise to the upside if one deal materializes soon. And that is a true story. Literally, Tesla will just be rolling along and then all of a sudden we will see a huge tweet, just like the deal that they did with Georgia for Mega Packs this week, and everything could completely change. Now, for licensing specifically, Arcs Kathy Wood views it as a way for Tesla to license AI software to competitors, creating reoccurring revenue similar to how Apple licenses its OS and apps. While not qualified separately in Arcs recent revenue models, would suggest that it could generate tens of billions annually in the long term by capturing shares of the 80 to 90 million global vehicle market with fees like $100 per month per licensed vehicle potentially split with the OEMs depending on how the deal is structured. Now, again, however, in ARC's big ideas in 2025, licensing was a bit downplayed as a near-term driver of growth. They think that RoboTaxi is going to be prioritized for the most immediate catalyst to the business. So that will be fun to see how that plays out. And then, of course, one of my favorites, James from Invest Answers, who has been analyzing Tesla, and he does an amazing job. He calls Tesla's full self-driving licensing a high-margin stealth money engine that could redefine Tesla's valuation. Beyond subscriptions and robotaxi, he sees that licensing to these huge manufacturers as a real unlock. Very similar to uh, or comparable to Volkswagen's $5 billion investment in Rivian for its software platform. A single FSD licensing deal could mirror that scale, bringing in billions of upfront plus long-term reoccurring revenue. Now, if licensing reaches just 25% of the global non-Tesla EV market at $100 a month, that alone could generate over $20 billion annually with 80 to 90% margins. Now, the VW Rivian deal shows legacy automakers are willing to spend big to fix their software gaps. Unlike Rivian's UX-focused stack, Tesla's FSD is already at scale with autonomy, making it a prime candidate to become the Android of the autonomous driving revolution. So where will Tesla be in five years? Probably licensing its software to half the car industry, running a stealth money engine while other automakers are trying to catch up. And this isn't about EVs anymore. Like this series is really digging into the fact that this is not a car company. It's literally about owning the operating system of the future roads and highways. So if you think that Tesla's licensing FSD could be the next trillion dollar unlock, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think. I want to hear your take. If this video gave you a clear, more data-driven view of what's coming, hit that subscribe button as we are cutting through the hype and looking at the future with logic numbers and zero emotion. This is where speculation meets strategy so that we can all become artificially rich in the very near future. Take care and join me for part four located in the Tesla playlist. I'll see you soon.